Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it is Friday, it is the weekend, it's the best day ever and I am here today to share with you as always how my week was, you know that I had a little getaway this last weekend, so we'll talk about that, the WW workshop topic, and of course, this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and ring your bell so you never miss a Friday weigh-in or another video in general. I do upload five days a week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories highly, highly recommend this. And if you'd like to use me as support, accountability, or chat with me directly, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things. And lastly, come on over, join us in our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely amazing, amazing week. I had a great week. As I mentioned in last week's weigh-in and why there was no meal prep this Monday is I actually took a little getaway this last weekend and had an absolutely amazing time. I spent some time at the pool. I spent some time with friends. I didn't work at all. I didn't even bring my computer because I just needed a little bit of me time. This is really important to recognize when we need a little bit of time for ourselves to give ourselves that self care that we need in our busy lives with moving out of state, starting my real estate courses, continuing to work here on YouTube, nutrition coaching. I have been so busy that for my mental health, I needed a little Little bit of a getaway. So I had one and it was absolutely incredible. I got in a lot of walking. I did some dancing, burned some calories, got some steps. I did really well on my food considering I was on vacation. I really focused on getting in my protein every day and really just eating the foods that I would eat if I was at home and then enjoying the little desserts here and there that are part of experiencing vacation. I didn't indulge in any adult beverages. I decided that instead I would focus on my water intake and just really eat how I would eat if I was at home with a few little indulgences here and there. As you know, I have goals. I have goals to hit my goal weight by the end of the year, and I didn't want this little getaway to derail my week or derail my weight loss for the week as well. So although I enjoyed myself, I just really focused on the foods that I know that my body needed and that nourished my body to get in all that activity and all those steps every day. I returned home pretty late in the evening on Sunday, and this entire week I have been 100% on track. I've been eating right, getting in my water, exercising. I've been continuing to walk. And this next week, I'm going to start going to the gym here in my community because I'm ready. I'm ready to put some strength training back into my life. I'm going to start on the machines just to re-familiarize myself with light weight lifting. And then I'll transition over to free weights. Now that I've lost so much weight, the muscle that I do have on my body isn't covered as much with fat. So I'm hoping that by incorporating some strength training, all that muscle will start to pop through. We'll be able to see some definition in my shoulders and my arms, which is really what my ultimate goal is once I reach my weight loss goal is to be the strongest, leanest, healthiest I've ever been. So not only am I going to keep walking, keep moving my body, but I'm ready to put some strength training back into the routine. So I feel really good about my week. I feel rejuvenated and refreshed and I'm ready to kick some you know what for the rest of the month of May. But before I jump into my post-vacation way out, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic because I love it. This week's topic is how to be kinder to yourself. I just talked about this little weekend getaway and how much it was needed for self-care. This is how I'm kinder to myself. This is one way that I give myself kindness, love, and appreciation and self-care. We absolutely need to give ourselves grace and be kinder to ourselves when we're talking about setbacks, setbacks in our weight loss journey. And real talk, every single one of us is going to have a setback or two or 10 along our journey. They're totally normal. And the next time that you encounter a setback, I wanna give you some tips and tricks from WW on how to combat that and how to be a little bit kinder to yourself, treating yourself the way that you would treat a friend that was suffering from those same setbacks. 
So number one, imagine a friend came to you and said how disappointed or frustrated or upset she was with herself because she's been off track, whether it was for one meal, for weeks, for months, and she's just really disappointed and upset at herself. She ate a lot more than she planned. What would you say to her and what tone, what tone would you use to convey your thoughts and opinions on her setback? And the second scenario is thinking about yourself. Now imagine if that was you and you ate a lot more than you planned or you were off track for a day, a week, a month. How would you talk to yourself and what tone would you use towards yourself. Is there a difference between the two? Would you talk to your friend a lot nicer than you would talk to yourself? I would venture to guess that there's a huge difference between how you talk to your friend and how you talk to yourself. When our friend, our family, someone we love or someone we admire comes to us and says, hey, I'm struggling, we are empathetic. We offer our hands of love and advice and support. But do we do that for ourselves? Or do we beat ourselves up and say, you, you're you never gonna lose weight, you're never gonna stick with this, you're not consistent, you're terrible, you suck, whatever you tell yourself when you personally suffer from a setback. Now I know that I can be really hard on myself, but if one of you came to me, I would offer empathy and I would love you and hug you and be there to support you, we need to do that for ourselves, you guys. We need to treat ourselves the exact same way as we would treat a friend. Setbacks are normal. And we need to recognize that not only our friends, but ourselves are going to suffer from setbacks. I want to share with you a fact versus myth from WW. Fact, tough love doesn't work. Self-compassion does. Myth, I have to be tough on myself to reach my goals. This is not true. You do not have to give yourself tough love. You do not have to be tough on yourself to reach your goals. Self-compassion, self-care, self-love works wonders in this arena, much more than being tough on yourself. Would you lecture your friend about everything they've done wrong, how they screwed up, how they're never gonna reach their weight loss goals? No, again, you would offer empathy and support. Do that for yourself as well. Being tough on yourself only makes us feel bad about ourselves, bad about ourselves for setbacks that are normal, that are absolutely normal in weight loss. The truth is, treating yourself with kindness is what's going to help you overcome those setbacks, overcome those obstacles, and get back on track. Responding with judgment and criticism only makes things worse, only makes us feel worse about ourselves, which then makes us lack motivation to get back on track. And don't worry, this whole shift isn't going to happen overnight. We're still going to be hard on ourselves, but when that happens, be self-aware, recognize that, and stop yourself. And tell yourself, that's it, stop being hard on yourself. Treat yourself like you would your friend. Right now, it's really about noticing and being self-aware on how you talk to yourself versus how you talk to others, and make sure that that's an even playing field. How you treat your friend is how you treat yourself because you're going to make mistakes. You're human, you're not perfect, and recognizing that this is normal and part of a weight loss journey will help you talk more positively to yourself, therefore keeping motivated and getting yourself back on track to reach your goals. You're amazing, you're beautiful, you're loved. Remember that next time you have a setback. I really like this topic and I'll tell you, I used to be really, really hard on myself. As I've progressed through my journey and since I've learned so much while losing over 100 pounds, I am far less hard on myself now. I know I'm gonna screw up. I know I'm gonna make mistakes. I know I'm going to eat foods that don't nourish and satisfy my body or that get me off track, but I recognize that. And I tell myself, it's okay. It's only one day, let's get back on track. And it is much easier to get yourself back into weight loss mode when you have a setback. So remember to treat yourself like you would a friend. So now I'm ready to jump into this week's post vacation weigh in. Like I mentioned, I did my best to eat the foods that I would eat at home. I still enjoyed those vacation foods, especially dessert. Dessert is my jam. Dessert is my favorite thing. So if I'm going to indulge on vacation, I'm going to indulge in dessert. And I made that conscious decision going into my little vacation. I gave myself self-love. I was aware of what I was eating and I allowed myself permission to enjoy vacation food. And even after being out of town, being on vacation, when I stepped on the scale this week, I am down another 1.6 pounds, almost two full pounds after vacation. It is proof, I am proof, that you can go on vacation, be mindful, still enjoy those vacation foods, and still see a loss on the scale. And honestly, a pretty substantial loss, 
that I'm pretty proud of, I have to say. Never once on vacation did I beat myself up. Never once did I tell myself I couldn't have something. I washed my portions, I ate mindfully, and I just enjoyed vacation and didn't focus on food. I didn't care about the food on vacation. I cared about the vacation and the experience. And I think that makes a huge impact on whether or not we can go on vacation and gain weight, or go on vacation and maintain our weight, or even go on vacation and potentially lose weight. So I'm happy, I'm thrilled. I'll go ahead and put my overall weight loss here on the screen for you. And now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Let me know if you talk to yourself differently than you talk to someone you love, a friend, a family member. I know that that was definitely the case for me. And share some tips and tricks that you have to give yourself a little bit of grace and compassion. Of course, check out that description box down below for Nutrition Coach as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. And come join us on Facebook for a really loving, supportive group of friends and a community that is here to support you when you're struggling. And in your good times, sharing your NSVs, we're there for you. So make sure you come on over and join us on Facebook. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you have an amazing, amazing weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye. <music>